I'll show you in this video some of the tag mounting techniques that I've used. It takes a bit of ingenuity to get these tags mounted. I was really not aware of, of how much the trucks differed from one car to the next, from one engine to the next. So it takes a little bit of, of thinking and I used my 3D printer to help me out a bit to help me develop some mounting um, brackets and spacers. So I'll show you this one again. This is the one that I showed in the first video. Just a little little test truck that I used to run by hand. And if I flip it over, you can see underneath there's a, a tag that's mounted. Uh, here's a, another shot of the tag. You can see that it's just a about a 25 millimeter square piece of plastic, probably PVC. The actual RFID chip is right there in the middle, and this is the antenna. So you're interested in mounting this as close to the track as you can without interfering, without, without being, for example, picking on one of the switches. Uh, I've generally found that if I mount it about one eighth of an inch above the track with the uh, actual tag detector antenna mounted just under the track, that seems to work fine for me. And I do use tubular track on my layout. Uh, anyone who uses other kinds of track might have to do a little bit of experimenting. So back to this truck. What I had to do to mount the tag on this truck was actually use my 3D printer and build a little U-shaped mounting bracket. I ended up building a whole series of these with different lengths or different depths to handle the different truck configurations. So this is glued just underneath the truck. The little space between the, the two little feet is because most of the trucks have a rivet right down there on the crossbar that I'm attaching this to. And so I attach that with uh, Walter's goo, holds it real well onto the truck. Then to put the tag on to the little mount, I just used double-sided sticky tape. So I got this on eBay. It's about uh, a sixteenth of an inch thick. And I just cut little strips of it, mounted on the, the top of the plastic, and then just stick the detector on top of it like that. Some of the other detector mounts that I've made, here's another U-shaped one. Uh, this one needed a little more clearance around the rivet, so I made it with wider feet. Uh, I made a simple, just little square box, which can be used on some, some cars uh, just to get the tag mounted. It didn't have any clearance problems. I also made a little more sophisticated shape. This shape I've used on the bottom of some of my engines where I could actually use Walter's glue and glue, glue on the this mount on the edges here and then I could use double sticky tape and mount the tag on top of that bracket. I'll show you on a couple cars and a couple engines. Uh, this one, I actually just mounted the tag right on the metal frame uh, that holds the uh, trucks together. You can probably see it a little better on this side, this frame right here. I ended up, I think on this one, I put two layers of double sticky tape. Yeah, I put two layers of double sticky tape and that got the tag just about one eighth of an inch above the track. Here's another one. This one is similar to that first test truck that I used. It has that U-shaped piece of plastic printed on my 3D printer and has the tag attached to it. Here was a little, little tougher configuration. This is a PNLE 2808 engine and I decided that I didn't want to mount it actually on the truck anywhere so I ended up just mounting it right on the speaker enclosure. And let's see, one layer of double-sided sticky tape. 
You notice on my engines, I have two tags. That's one thing that I do on all of my engines, is I have a tag on each end of the engine. Uh, part of part of the, the reason for that I'll talk about later, but it's basically just to really make sure that my software detects the engine. I've got two tags on there, uh, so that if the for some reason the tag reader misses one, it will grab the other. All right, so there's there's my tag mountings. Um, my next video will talk about how I actually program the tags, what information I put into them so that uh, they can be read out as the engines travel, engines and cars travel around my layout.